The first thing we're gonna do is talk to Kaga and attempt to save Arabella. We want to save Arabella because that's part of a quest later. As I click do nothing. <laughs> you, you get another chance after clicking do nothing. Do nothing just so you can get the approval. Now I'm gonna persuade her. And I have bonuses. And even if I don't get it, I'm gonna continue to use what inspiration I have because I want Arabella free. It comes with bonuses, trust me. Very well. She may go. Uh-huh. Here we go. Now the Gail wants see, to eat my this, stuff. So often Look I at him. Get my like a crackhead. A powerful, magical item. You're telling me you're addicted no, to magic? No. Yeah, you sure it isn't, Gail. You're a liar. Understand a watchful Deep elf. Than a beloved child of Loth. Um, this, in, this option will give you um, approval with companions. And yet you petitioned on the thief's behalf. A vipe. I took back the idol of mm -hmm. Sylvanas. Do what you want. So None you of my concern. Should. I want there to be gone. But the viper must strike. Rattle all you want. Then they get out. There we go. Ended that conversation. Oh, and here you can, you no matter what you, you um, see, you know? most of it's just make sure you tell I, Nettie, be honest with her. We need to be quick. Tell her you this have way. the tadpole. Tell her how you got it, all that, and she's going to be honest with you. And then you won't have to fight her. Right there is a um, tadpole that I'm going to steal after this conversation. Yep, and this is mostly just going to be choosing ones. Of course. Victor, yeah. you pick up the ship. No, this is a vial of wine. Swear to take I the poison. You know, must because you should all be changed. Agree to save Halson. Whatever he found. Oh, uh -huh. I would all like good luck. Out. And now I'm going to wait for her to walk out of the room. I want this tadpole. There's something in that vessel. Take I'm going to be them. using tadpoles this run because uh mind flayer powers are super good. You, Our little and they are going to give us a locket with dancing lights. The cantrip. Talk to Donnie here. He's going to show us the dragon's lair, the as the kid on the beach you. said. He nods, then reaches for a All right, let's go talk to Mole. Mole is going to want us to steal the idol Vanus, which is actually fairly easy to do. <clears throat> And I will show you how to do it. Not ready to steal it yet, though. Still got to talk to Zevlor. Shadowheart luckily has lesser restoration on her amulet because I don't have a level two spell slot. Stop! This place is off limits. Um. Leave. Do insight. Because that's where she has the bonuses. You know, damn it, you can stay. Um, Just keep your hands to your cleric, let me heal no you. Need. Should be able to stand. Where'd you get this potion? Also warned of side effects. It doesn't sound like a she side effect at all. Let me heal you. Right. I guess being fearless. Hold still. I'll cast the spell. There we go. My foot. It moved. You're welcome. All right. I heard what if the so we can risk violence here mm -hmm. or face it for certain. It's good. We need them. Somebody. Just talk your it's way no through this. Choose whatever us, options you want. It. I've seen you it's fight. not really going to matter. To the task. Everyone in this camp will be ready. But I'm going to tell him I'm going to take care of the goblin leaders because I do plan to. All right. Now I need to check the vendors for an arrow of darkness. Anything and else? if he does not have them, we can do a long rest. Oh, there we go. There are two arrows of darkness. Fantastic. All right. Now we're going to steal the item. It's a fairly easy process. I'm going to separate me. Separate Lazel. These two are going to go to camp. Take Lazel here. 
she's gonna go back down into the dragon slayer and stand right Not next today. to mole like it's well be done. And I'm gonna take my character go down here to the idol what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this arrow of darkness and we're gonna shoot it right here and we're gonna pause time wait no we gotta shoot another arrow that landed in a real bad spot <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we had multiple. We're gonna shoot this arrow right here. There we go. Now we're gonna crouch and pause time. Let's make sure Lizel is back near Mole. Objective noted. And we're gonna pause time for her as well. All right. Now we're going to grab this. There we go. We stole it. We're gonna unpause time, go to camp. Lazel still has it. Tab. Let's move the item to Lazel. She talks to Mole. No. She talks to Mole. I had a feeling you'd be back. Idol's all yours. There we go. Uh oh. The Oh well. It's fine. Hey, but, you know, they used the idol. You know? <laughs> we did the quest. I usually don't mess that up, but you know, hey, I'm recording it, so of course I mess it up. You can do something a thousand times alone the correct way, but one time on camera and it's <laughs> Oh, I had to click it weird. Oh boy. Damn. Well, um, <laughs> sometimes these things happen, and because this is honor mode, there's no going back. So, we accept it happened, and we move on. Up here on this here cliff top, there is going to be a conversation with our friendly favorite devil, and a necklace of guidance the necklace i want Raphael, i can do without i'm gonna make sure to walk not too far because otherwise my companions will not be in the conversation there we go this conversation means relatively nothing but there is a chance right Just here to get some free camp supplies but you want like this that. option for companion influence and what it all right right here there is a spider's nest inside of it there is a bag in this bag there is i believe a gym and a uh, web grenade or a spider grenade when you throw it uh, the spiders come out and I am not failing all of these rolls the creatures clutch the pouch possessively. yeah well I'm a rogue mine the spiders yes all right in this pouch are the egg sack and the gold we're just gonna check back on the grove at a later date. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Looks fine. Yeah, it's I'd fine. Not turn my back on you. Well, I ain't gonna no go on in there either. Look at that. Oh, there we go. These two clowns are still here. That's good. Strange symbol glows. This is a good chance to get yourself some help for the upcoming fight with the owlbear. What happened to your brother? I told Edward not to look in that cave. You need to find the beast, avenge your brother. Yeah, go save him. Make sure you do search him again. Not just once, but twice. I'm gonna let your body guide you. And make sure to search him again, because he's got more stuff. Vile parrot. 
this piece here connects to another one that we're going to get soon. And if you're wondering how I'm doing this, where I'm seeing things popping up on the computer, it's the alt key. I don't, I don't know what it is on anything else. I'm, I'm sorry. We're going to talk to this guy and have them go in for us. They're going to help us fight. We can send him straight in there for us. But first, we need to prepare ourselves. Good. Now, we'll have... Let's see. Let's give that to Lazel. Give that to me. And it looks like... <laughs> We'll give this to Lazel. Perfect. We'll have Gale put on his mage armor. Go. Hold off on that. All right. Now for the fun part. One of the biggest things changes about this fight is that there is not just one owlbear, there are two owlbears. And they both rage. So ideally, in order to keep owlbear 2 from even coming into the picture, you take down owlbear 1 quickly. And owlbear 1 has a little bit of health already lost, as you can see. But this, the owlbear is going to do a lot of jumping around from target to target. And they're going to want to attack the squishiest targets possible. And the squishiest here being Gale, me, Shadowheart, in that order. So ideally, we keep her owlbear as locked onto Lazel or these two goons as possible. Ideally, this fool, because if we don't have the owlbear attacking this fool, He's going to attack the baby, and I want the baby to live. So, to start this fight, I am going to send these fools charging. As the symbol glows, Get in there. Courses through you. Authority. No choice. Of course. A shiver. You're right. For Edwin. For Edwin. Yes, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here she comes. Ah! Oh yeah, right in the pile. Alright. So, we don't want Gale anywhere near her. And we don't want him to provoke opportunity attacks. This will not... Well, coming up here to it, yes. This does not provoke. We need to get Gale away from him. There, we'll leave Gale right there for now. Shadowheart, she's got a little meat on her. But... Let's... Now, I want to lay as much damage down as I can with Lazel because I'm going to see about commanding the owlbear and it's a mess good start um save uh uh-huh there's the second one right <sighs> Now, things are going to get ugly. Um, he saved it. Uh, potion. I wonder if this counts as being too close to him to crouch. Threatened, yeah, he can't be threatened. 
Well, that's all fine and dandy, but the last thing I want to be is anywhere near him. I'm going to use a speed potion. There we go. Let's get up here with Gale. Now, just because you're up here does not mean you're safe. This owlbear can and probably will jump right here and smack you. So, don't feel like you're safe here. <laughs> but since everybody's here, it's highly likely that the owlbear stays here. So he's getting a cloud of daggers. Still breathing, despite everything. Now, disadvantage, of course, because out of range. But we can use acid arrow to also lower his AC by two. He saved it, but he's still sitting in it. So. His armor class says reduced by two. Perfect. Now, me and Gale up here are going to do our best to hope that we don't get whacked. Let's see, what can I do here for the Albert? I think I'm just going to try to put more damage on it. <laughs> it's the second one here. What are you going to do? You're coming down here, are you? Pfft. Oh, you're moving, huh? Ow. Okay, that hurt Lazel. So you did move. That's... that sucks. I'd rather you didn't move. Alright, um... Now, since Gale is... he no longer needs to concentrate on that. There's nobody there. But Shadowheart can make things easier on us. Oh no! Only one. Game. Battle of wits. Nothing important is hmm. ever easy. I have a feeling she's gonna try to switch targets after him. So after I take a shot with the rogue, I'm gonna want to hide. Why do I have to go all okay. So this isn't even a shot, but percentage, it's just a shot now? How does that work? Oh well. Well, I broke duplicity. It was a good move. <laughs> Let's put on some wire coating. Let's tag this fool again. Save that. Now I need to hide. I need to get the hell away from Gale as well. Because Gale is going to look like a tasty target. But I need Gale to help me out here. Perfect. Now... I really hope Gale doesn't die there. Why am I in combat with him? I don't know, but I gotta leave Shadowheart there now. Um, 
I've got two choices, either try to put more damage on the owlbear bear, or heal myself. If I don't heal myself, he's likely to kill me. We have one health potion. Back to full health, good. Okay. Yeah, keep attacking the owlbears, that's perfect. I knew she was going to move after the attack, but no, she's still there. Let's put some damage on her. Oh, here's the scary part. <laughs> yeah, he went for Shadowheart. He knew she was the healer. That's a well used. She needs to get the hell out of here. Leave her as is for now. No gloom, all doom. Put some more damage on this guy. Get him even lower. Gale, let's pop a speed potion to put some more damage on him. So much for peace. Lazel, you're gonna do the same. This speed potions also increase, um, give you a plus two to armor class, dexterity saving throws, all that. And Lazel is standing an asset, that's why. There we go. Now she's got 19. Um, I didn't really want to attack him, so because I don't want to take the opportunity to attack, I'm going to do that. I want to keep putting damage on him. The fire wore off, so he gets an acid arrow. And I missed. Not some lightning for you, buddy. Ooh, and Wyvern Toxin, you're dead. Okay, first Owlbear is dead. Shadowheart has Sanctuary. Little guy is putting in work. She's gonna come club Gale, isn't she? Leave Gale alone, you monster. Yeah, whack her, Gale. That's what she gets for coming up here. Yeah, go kick his ass. Uh-oh, Gail's coming. Oh, she's coming up here now. And you're gonna pay for it. Ah! Oh, I'm so glad it was her and not me. I'm so glad it was him and not me. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that sucks. Um... So, I want to get her to come down here. I don't want to be near Shadowheart. That's... That's bad, okay? That's bad, okay? Let's see if we get him away from me. No. Um... He... That's bad, okay? Um, that's real bad. I think he's gonna whack Gale. Or, Fudge. Sorry, Gale. You might eat some poop here. Can't afford to let up. Unless I make Shadowheart look tasty. I can make Shadowheart look tasty. Oh, big hit. There we go, Shadowheart. Now he's probably gonna whack Gale and then jump on Shadowheart. If I had to guess. 
I'm gonna switch to my bow. I'm gonna coat it in poison. And then I'm gonna shoot an electric arrow. Perfect. But you're gonna jump down here. I'm not gonna give you two people to jump on. Oh no, the baby. Yeah, there's Gail. Holy shit, he lived. No way. Good for you, Gail. I am not entirely worried about being next to the Owlbear. That means nothing. The wonderful part about that color spray ring is it makes them easier to hit. See? Advantage. Now Lazel, who has tremendously strong legs, is just going to hop up here. Give it the business. Easy peasy. Alright. And we're going to let the creature live because later in the game that creature is going to help us. Here we go. Two dead owlbears and the cultist fools went with them. I'm going to pick up this owlbear egg because believe it or not we're not going to sell it. We're going to eat it. It's camp supplies. Yeah, it's gonna be a big ass omelet. And here's where we make Shadowheart mad because we're gonna open this this treasure chest regardless of what she wants. You should leave it. No, Shadowheart, we're gonna take it. Then make sure you pick up this stuff: healing potion, animal speaking, scroll of detect thoughts. I mean, you don't really need the scroll. Oops, I just tried to use the damn scroll. Here we go. We're going to double click the Saluni prayer sheet. We're going to read it, close it, and now it's open. You should leave it. Or even just this Shadowheart's going to get upset. I'm having some fantastic rolling today. There we go. Fine. Perhaps you can sell them for a couple. Yeah. <laughs> in there, we get an amulet. When the wearer drops below 50% or less, they don't provoke opportunity of tax. That is for me. Now that animal, that potion of animal speaking that we found in the Albert cave, we're going to use that. It was meant to talk to the Albert, but we're going to use it to talk to Scratch. Scratch is a good, good, good dog to have. Keep moving, stranger. Because later in the game, go. Scratch can be used to find treasure chests. I'm going to quickly hop over here. I'm not going to go too far. I don't want to trigger anything in specific. Just over here because this skeleton has a ring I want. Right here, sleight of hand ring. That will make stealing even easier. One of the downsides of screwing up the idol and blocking off the, um, there's the pig, and blocking off the grove is that you lose access to two traders, maybe more there. You can it examine it if you want, but it doesn't really lead to anything. Now, normally on my runs, I like to kill these three. But because I'm doing quests this time, I'm focusing on the quests, I'm not going to kill them. I'm just going to take the shit that's on the ground. Nope, that's an adventure. They don't want me touching those. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Instead, I'm gonna talk to him because he's got a contract that I'm gonna take from. Him. any use if you're too cold. It's called. I give you a map of the temple. All I've got's the contract. Come on. 
And I know people say, oh, well, you can kill them. No, you have the contract. No, wait till later. They will show up again, I promise. Now I'm going to take the stuff on the adventures. Now, because I'm a drow, I can safely walk in here, no problem, and they'll turn, turn around. They don't care. But if you're not a drow, you can take the shapeshifter mask and turn yourself into a drow. And then you will be seen the same as if you were actually a drow. Get over there! Surround! You spoiled us! Wait, a drow in the sun! Stand down! And He's goblins respect drow. Apologies, your lordship. Just don't let it happen again. Of course, move it, lads! Easy peasy. I've got a long road ahead. What path lies before me? Now we're in the Plighted Village. All right. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Oh I no, Gale's that. hungry already. I think you're gratifying to hear. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, man. For the time being, I'm gonna give Gale the spear. Thank you. Oh, a metaphorical demon. I hate to point uh -huh. out. Sincerely, though. My Thanks for eating my stuff, Gale. I can give Shadowheart a new weapon. How much gold do I have? I have plenty of gold. We're gonna respect Shadowheart. There is work to do. I must keep going. You're gonna respect her into a life cleric. I shall be here in my camp. As the All right. And the cool thing with clerics is when you're building um, or when you're in the level ups and stuff, you don't have to particularly worry about what spells that you select ahead of time. You'll have time again to pick them. I'm going to replace Thermo um, Sacred Flame here with Thermaturgy because it will help me in conversations. And Life Domain, where she will pick up Cure Wounds and Bless as spells that are always there. I don't need to worry about whether or not they are... Um, Prepared. And this comes with a subclass. They get additional hit points when healing. Now, we're going to mess with her stats. She doesn't need charisma. She's not in any conversations, and saving throws for spells are not charisma based, really. Um, intelligence doesn't matter. We're going to bump this up to 16 to give her a little bit more strength, and this to 14 to give her more health. She doesn't really need any dexterity. But, you know what? Just to give her a little bit more meat, I'm going to do that. Give her 12 dex, 15 strength. And then with our first level up at four we'll take asi probably and 18 and 16. you want to do even numbers you don't want to do odd numbers usually because you don't get the bonuses to those rolls see how it says plus three if i had 18 i would get plus four if i had 16 it would be plus three 17 itself does nothing besides prepare you for the next level up. I'm going to take create water here because lightning and water are good, very good combiners. I don't want magic weapon. I do want warding bond. Enhance ability is very good, um, but I'm not taking it right now. Because I only have like one level two spell slot, I believe. Oh, I have two level two cell slots. I just, I, I don't want to spin that on that. Perhaps now that we're in the Blighted Village, we're going to make a couple pit stops. 
first here for this chest. We're about to get the haste helm. And right now, I'm going to use that on Lazel because I have a lot of movement. Uh, Lazel has the haste helm because she needs the movement at the start of combat, whereas I don't because I have two bonus actions dash. She doesn't have that luxury. I get this little, little bit of. I keep forgetting this is Lazel because she's a drow. I crave blood. Get that XP, and then we're gonna come up here on top of this little cliff next to this house, because in here there's a dagger. Good to have a rogue to do it, or someone with high dexterity, because say the uh, sleight of hand is one of the rolls here. And I, of course, have high bonuses to sleight of hand because rogue and urchin background. So because of that, I now have myself a higher chance to hit because it's a plus one. Boom. Now, right over here under this goblin, there's a shabby wooden door. I'm going to unlock it. Because down here in the basement, there is part of a quest and another weapon. Right here in this chest, it's locked, or it's not locked, but there is a trap on it. Don't just open it. Up here is a locked chest, but it has a weapon in it. And the weapon I will also use to give myself more of an advantage in combat, more of a chance to hit short sword. Also, a lot of people maybe don't know what this Infernal Iron is for, and it is for Karlak. It's part of a quest line for her. My short sword, equip that. I'm going to put it in my main hand. There we go. We have plus six to hit for both weapons. Oh, forgot to equip my stealing ring, my ring of thieving, I call it. It'll help me on or disarm this chest. Oh, yeah, plus two smuggler's ring, plus guidance. Is that eleven to fourteen bonus? <laughs> there we go, and we'll click read. There we go. It's about a susser weapon. The susser weapon will be made here later. We still got a bit to go before then. Now, I'm going to head back over this way. And we're going to come along to here. Right here is a nice little mysterious hole. It's nothing big, it's just um, uh, wine. A couple things to sell. But we're going to take this little way here to go back here because I want to get the stuff in here before I actually save him. It is a pair of boots. And these boots, um, if I remember correctly, give momentum. Uh, oh, when they dash during combat, they get lightning charges. And this will also go to Lazel. These will go to Shadowheart to give her plus one to athletics to help her from being shoved and going prone. All right. You know what? I'm actually going to call it here for this episode. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. It helps the channel. Um, and I will see you next time.